strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Then, all of a sudden, I'm airborne! And then Rainbow Dash looks over and is like, Nice moves, kid. Wow. She really said that? I mean, it's like she practically told me she wanted to take me under her wing, teach me everything she knows, and become, like, my big sister. I don't know about all that. It was a really nice compliment and all, but... I know, I know. But all that stuff I said could happen, right? Sure. Absolutely. I just need to find a way to spend some time with her. You know, so she can see more of my awesomeness. Well, uh... Applejack and I are supposed to be camping up at Winds and Falls this weekend. Maybe I could get my big sister and invite Rainbow Dash, and then you could come too. Really? Sure. I want to go. Well, duh. Of course you can go. And I'll get Rarity to come too. Rarity loves camping. I despise camping. All of that <laughs> nature. Applejack's going with her little sister, but, you know... You don't want to spend time with me. Oh, all right. Oh, of course, I will need to find an outfit more appropriate for roughing it. Ooh. See? Told you she'd want to go. You packed the bug spray? Yep. You got the canteens? Yep. Looks like we're all set then. Hey, Rarity. Did you remember to pack? Oh, well, let's see who gets the last laugh when you're absolutely desperate to curl your lashes and you realize you didn't bring your eyelash curler. Well, looks like we're all set now. But what about Rainbow Dash? Isn't Rainbow Dash coming? Of course she is, Sugar Q. She's gonna meet us up at our first campsite. Oh. All right, y'all. Let's move them out. The last thousand times you asked that, the answer was no. This time, it's actually yes. There's Rainbow Dash up there right now. All right, Scootaloo, just play it cool. Dash, what's up? <laughs> what took you guys so long? Well, some of us didn't pack as light as the others, so we were slowed down a bit. Looks like you'll be sharing a tent with me, huh? <laughs> if that's okay with you. Sure, as long as you don't snore. You don't snore, do you? Nope, no way, not me. Never snored a day or <laughs> night in my life. Then you and I are gonna get along just fine. You have got to be kidding me. Sweetie Belle, do me a dear and see if you can find some fresh flowers for my bedside vase. Hey, Scootaloo, do be a sweetheart and see if you can gather some firewood. <laughs> Seriously, though, can you get us some wood for the fire? Of course. Okay, everybody get comfortable. Because I'm about to tell you the best story you ever heard. Is it about the time when Rarity had wings and then it got ruined and then you saved her from plummeting to her doom? Okay, maybe it's the second best story you ever heard but probably still the scariest. You like scary stories, right? <gasps> mm -hmm. It all happened on a night just like this one. In a forest just like this. And then the olden pony asked, who's got my rusty horseshoe? Not me. <laughs> Something in my throat. 
I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> Good story. Knew you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Will you jump that cart the other day? Girl yeah. like me. Fearless. Yeah, fearless. <laughs> Don't worry. Rarity is here to keep you safe and sound. Ooh. <sighs> Think it's about time for me to hit the straw. Don't you worry, little sis. There's no olden pony in our tent. Uh, that sure was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> How they were all afraid of the olden pony, <laughs> but not me. <laughs> That's because you're tough. Just like when I was your age. Ah! I'm hitting the sack. Come in whenever you feel like it. It's, it's nothing. Just my imagination. And that isn't the thundering stomp of the olden pony. A long trek ahead. Totally gonna be worth it when we get to Winsome Falls. Yeah, totally. Oh. Am I sweating? Oh, I think I'm sweating. Oh, uh, but it's absolutely worth it to get to spend time with my little sister. It's just that this cart feels like it's getting heavier all the time. I don't care if that cart's as heavy as a pack of mules. If we don't get a move on, it'll be dark before we get to the campsite. <gasps> Sorry. I'll just ride ahead to make sure the path is clear. No, we don't want to be out here after dark, right? Doesn't matter to me. Well, you know, it's for the scary ponies. Get to that campsite before dark. than a worm and an apple on cider making day. What gives, Goodaloo? Uh, nothing. I just thought I heard something. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because you seem a little jumpy. Just getting my exercise. You know how important it is to stretch out those hindquarters every so often. <laughs> uh, do you, you need a little help? That's so sweet. Thank you. Um, 
What are friends for? No need for tents tonight, y'all. We'll just take shelter in that cave. All right! A deep, dark cave. <laughs> Perfect for the story I've got for tonight. All we need is a campfire and we're good to go. Uh, of course. I'll be right back with lots of firewood from the deep, dark, not scary at all forest. Thanks. I can do this. On the count of three, I will get those branches. One, two, three! Ah. Here, branches, branches, branches! <sighs> oh, wait! It's colder than a Timberwolves toenail. <sighs> Where's that, Schoolu? Here you go. That's it? It's all I could find, because, you know, there aren't that many trees around here. It's all we need. Why don't you sit with Rainbow Dash for a while? Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. The scary part. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I tell tonight's story? All right. Just make sure it's a horrible one. There once was a really, really nice pony who lived in a bright and sunny land where there are rainbows every day and lots and lots of happy friends. And no offense, but it's not a real campfire story unless some pony's shaking. I've been told that these very woods are haunted by the headless horse. It gallops only at night. If it doesn't have a head, then how in tarnation does this pony know where it's going? It's headless, not brainless. Looking for little lost ponies. So where's its brain? Ugh. Fear was dripping from the end. And they were never heard from ever again. Never. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be safe with me tonight. It's not time for bed yet, is it? Afraid so, Scootaloo. Uh, uh, but we haven't even sung any campfire songs yet. You don't have to ask me twice. 99 buckets of oats on the wall! to go to sleep tonight. Is there some reason why? <laughs> of course not. I just love camping and hanging out with Rainbow Dash so much that I don't want to waste a single minute with sleep. <sighs> <sighs> Silly sleep. That's cool and all, Scoot. But this pony needs her shut eye and she needs it now. <sighs> this is so unfair.
Princess Luna! I thought you were the headless horse. You were mistaken, but I hope not disappointed. You are so, so much better than the headless horse. But what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in Canterlot? I am the Princess of the Night. Thus it is my duty to come into your dreams. Oh yeah! Wait, this is just a dream? But it feels so real! I assure you that you are asleep. But when you wake, the thing that frightens you most will still exist. Uh, the Headless Horse? Hmm. Is the Headless Horse really what frightens you the most? Mm -mm. I'm afraid Rainbow Dash will find out I'm not as tough as she thinks I am. Every pony has fears, Scootaloo. Every pony must face them in their own way. But they must be faced, or the nightmares will continue. Sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just wanted you to hang out with me and see how cool I was so you'd take me under your wing, teach me everything you know, and become like my big sister. But then you started telling those spooky stories and I got scared. I thought I heard the headless horse, so I ran out here by myself and... Well, I guess you know the rest. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, but if you ever tell any pony else, I'm gonna deny it. First time I heard those stories, I was scared, too. <laughs> you were? Sure. I mean, I got over it because I realized pretty quick that if there was such thing as a headless horse, I could totally take it on. So, you're looking for some pony to take you under their wing, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I might be up for something like that. Really? As long as you don't go falling into any more rivers in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's a deal. If you insist. <laughs> it is so hard! They think they can beat the two of us? sake. Now take it and stop all your moaning. Thank you. And have a nice day.
Pinkie Pie, you're more nervous than Rainbow Dash. I'm not nervous at all. When I get into the Wonderbolt Academy... If you get in! If you get in! Don't jinx it! I'm telling you, it's in the bag! Don't jinx it! She is the best flyer in Ponyville. In Ponyville? I'm probably the best flyer in all of Equestria. I wouldn't be surprised if they just went ahead and made me a Wonderbolt on the first day. Got a letter here for Rainbow Dash. I didn't get in. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> you guys are so gullible. Like, I wasn't gonna get in. I'm just so happy for you! Uh, uh thanks. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, I kinda need to get going. Okay, I'm done. Sooner I get there, the sooner I get to show my stuff. See you guys in a week. Good luck. Won't need it. Don't forget to write! Do you think she heard me? My little pony. My little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Material, don't you? Yes, ma'am! Think you got what it takes to be an elite flyer? Yes, yes ma'am! Well then, let me be the first to tell you. You don't! If you had what it took to be an elite flyer, you'd already be a Wonderbolt. You still think you're something special? No, ma'am. your hot stuff? You look like you're the worst flyer in the whole academy. You'll probably quit after the first day. No, ma'am. I'd never quit, ma'am. Ha. Huh. What about you? Bet you couldn't fly past the first flagpole without getting winded. Try me, ma'am. What's that? Let me show you what I've got, ma'am. Oh, you want a chance to prove yourself, huh? Yes, ma'am. Well then, now's your chance. Give me 500 laps, all of you! Uh, now! <laughs> lap 499! One more lap to go! You're on. For a couple of newbies. Name's Lightning Dust. Rainbow Dash. Wanna grab some grub in the mess hall? Definitely. Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash hasn't even been gone 24 hours yet. Give her a chance to settle in first. Why don't we just go see what Twilight's up to? I hear Princess Celestia's got her working on some new spells. New spells, huh? Okay. 
I'm not here when Rainbow Dash's letter arrives. I won't be able to read it right away. And if I don't read it right away, I won't be able to write her back right away. And if I don't write her back right away, she might think I didn't get her letter, and then she might worry it got lost. And if she's worried about her letter, she'll be distracted. And if she's distracted, then she won't do well at the Academy. And if she doesn't do well at the Academy, then she'll get kicked out. And if she gets kicked out, she'll never let her be a letter ball. And if she doesn't get to be a letter ball, all her dreams will be crushed! And it'll be all my fault! So, in other words, you're sticking by the mailbox. Yep. Suit yourself. The Wonderbolts are the fastest, best precision flyers in the world. And spin outs can still happen. And when they do, a Wonderbolt must be able to recover quickly. This is the Dizzytron. It's gonna make you very, I repeat, very dizzy. Your task is to try to recover and fly straight again as soon as possible. Once you have recovered, you must come in for a smooth landing. Now, who's first? You. You're up. Me? Now! Ready? Yes, ma'am. Go writing home about it. Who's next? All right, Rainbow Dash. Let's see what you got. Yes, ma'am. Okay, go. Release. Six seconds. That's an Academy record. You made it look so easy. I make everything look easy. Okay, lightning dust, you're up. Ma'am, can you put the Dizzitron at maximum speed? I want to push my limits. You sure about that? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you asked for it. to six seconds. They should make us Wonderbolts right now. <laughs> yeah, they should. <laughs> Listen up. For the rest of the camp, you'll be working in pairs. Tomorrow morning, I'll post the teams, including who will be lead pony and who will be wing pony. Good luck. Like we're gonna need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, which one of you lucky gals gets to be my wing pony? What? Uh, you might want to check the wall. A wing pony? They made us a team. Isn't that awesome? Permission to enter, ma'am. What is it, Rainbow Dash? I had the best time on the Dizzitron. Only six seconds. And? And you made me a wing pony. Because I believe you and Lightning Dust will be an unstoppable team. Do you not think you'll be an unstoppable team? Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. I mean, we'll be an unstoppable team, ma'am. Then what's the problem? I think I should be lead pony, ma'am. And I think... Lightning Dust likes to push herself a little harder than you do. That's why I made her lead pony. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Good.
Today, you will all be participating in a flag hunt. We'll divide you into two teams, red and blue. Whoever finds the most flags of the opposing team's color wins. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. If you think this is gonna be fun, you are sadly mistaken. This is for training purposes. This is not recess. Lead ponies and wing ponies must fly together. If any pair splits apart, they will be immediately disqualified. Do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am! Then let's go! <laughs> Ready to rock and roll? Ready. You spotted any flags yet? Not yet. Oh, there's one. Good eyes. We should slow down. It doesn't look like both of us can make it at this speed. <laughs> wish we could help her. Help me? The only thing that could possibly help me right now is a letter from Rainbow Dash. It's been three days already. By now, she probably doesn't even know our names anymore. She probably can't remember our faces. Pinkie Pie, I never heard of a Pinkie Pie. Who is Pinkie Pie? Well, if you're so worried, then why don't you send her a letter first? Of course, that's a great idea. <sighs> wait, wait, I got an even better idea. How about we send Rainbow Dash a care package? You know, before she forgets all about us. Although, come on, let's face it, it's probably too late for that. But uh, maybe it'll jog her memory somehow. Pinkie Pie, I'm sure Rainbow Dash still remembers our faces and who we are, but I think sending her a care package is a great idea. A care package it is! We'll send it through the mail. What? Oh, that won't work at all! Why not? Because what if the package gets lost in the mail? What if some pony else gets the package by accident and then she remembers us instead of Rainbow Dash and then she becomes our new friend? And then the real Rainbow Dash won't ever know that she used to have friends and she forgot them! Is any pony else following this? Mm -mm. I got it! We'll deliver the care package to Rainbow Dash in person. I wouldn't mind a little trick. I'll go. Count me in. Me too. Me five! But don't be upset if she doesn't recognize you at first. It may take a while for her to get her memory back. Today, we'll be doing our famous air obstacle course. The object of this exercise is to work on your precision flying under extreme circumstances. And don't worry about winning. It's not a race. Now, every pony, get on your mark! go any faster? It's no good. I can't get around them. Doesn't matter. We can still fly completely in sync and blow Spitfire's mind with our moves. I guess. What are they? A couple of snails? It's just a little weather. Now's our chance to pass these slow posts. Not bad. And in record time, too. Definitely made the right decision making you two a team. 
The others seem to have had a little trouble with the precision part of the exercise. I'd better go help sort them out. Why don't you two go hit the mess hall early? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um, lightning dust? Next time, maybe we don't cut the other teams off like that. Hey, you snooze, you lose. Besides, Wonderbolts are supposed to be able to recover from a spin out. You saw them on the Dizatron. They could use the practice. I mean, it's not our fault we're so much better than those other guys. Not every pony is destined to become a Wonderbolt. Only the best of the best, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Now let's go fuel up. Kicking all that tail has made me hungry. Competition. But we're already way ahead. Are you in or not? Lightning Dust likes to push herself a little harder than you do. That's why I made her lead pony. I'm in. Then follow my lead. Package. Didn't realize you'd be in the middle of some crazy tornado drill. That was awesome! Awesome? My friends could have been smashed to pieces. Yeah, but they weren't, right? Can't say the same for the clouds. We totally wiped them out with that tornado. The other cadets will have to be up there for days to bust as many as we did. A hoof bump? Seriously? You made me clip my wing. You sent half of our class into serious tailspins on the obstacle course. You unleashed a tornado that nearly demolished my friends! Yeah. And? And I get that you want to be the best. So do I. But you're going about it in the wrong way. The Wonderbolts don't seem to think so. After all, Spitfire did make me the leader and you the wing pony. You're right. She did. This better be important. You're supposed to be up there busting clouds with your partner. We're done with that, ma'am. Already? That's an academy record. Explain your methods. That's why I'm here, ma'am. Lightning Dust decided to use a tornado. A bit excessive for cloud busting, but judging from your time, it was obviously an effective tactic. Yeah, well, that effective tactic nearly took out my friends. No disrespect, ma'am, but there's a big difference between pushing yourself as hard as you can and just being reckless. And if being reckless is what gets rewarded around here, if that's what it means to be a Wonderbolt, then I don't want any part of it. What are you saying, newbie? I quit. You did what? Being a Wonderbolt was your dream. 
Not anymore. I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I know how much this meant to you. Rainbow Dash! How dare you storm out of my office without giving me a chance to respond? The Wonderbolts are looking for the best flyers in Equestria. But you were right. Being the best should never come at the expense of our fellow ponies. It's not just about pushing ourselves. It's about pushing ourselves in the right direction. You've shown that you're capable of doing just that. You're no wing pony, Rainbow Dash. You're a leader. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Now get up there and give me 20! Yes, ma'am! Making a jewel cake. <laughs> Me, that's who. Been saving up my gems so fine for a cake that is divine. <laughs> who are you hooing at? <laughs> I know, they're delicious. Now you see them? No, you don't. Mm. This is how you make a jewel cake. Stir in some gems and then you bake. Mm -hmm. Gonna eat, eat, eat it up. Gonna. <sighs> what happened to all my jewels? I had a bowl full of them here, and now I don't. Which means somebody took them. <laughs> who? That's what I'm asking, who? Who took my jewels? Oh, I'm who? This cake was gonna be so good! Why? Why? Faithful and strong, sharing kindness. It's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I have no jewels. I have no cake. I'm a sad little dragon with nothing to. Is it? Oh, oh goodness, I, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Well, I do have this cake to not bake. Oh, sorry, it's a bad time. Uh, inside joke, talk to me. It's just that Princess Cadence needs us to do a great job welcoming the head of the Equestria Games when she visits the Crystal Empire tomorrow. Oh, I know all about that. As if I wouldn't be any help at welcoming. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. Of course you might be upset for not being invited, and here I am coming to ask you for a favor. You were probably going to say no anyway. All I had to offer you in exchange was one little jewel. What was that? <laughs> All I have is this jewel. That's a really big one. It's a really big, juicy, perfect for a cake topper jewel. Does this mean you'll do it? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. So while I'm gone, you'll take care of Angel. And tomorrow is Tuesday, which is his tail fluffing day. And it's really important for him to look good. Wait, what? You want me to take care of him? Oh, well, yes. But 
if it's too much trouble, I can always see if there's some pony else. Uh, we already agreed on the whole jewel thing, so I'll just... Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angel, aren't you just so excited? <laughs> see you tomorrow. You know, she's not the only pony with a pet that might need some watching. All I'm saying is, if Fluttershy thought that her beloved little friend shouldn't be left alone while you're busy in the Crystal Empire, then maybe that's just something to think about. <laughs> Tank's not some fuzzy little bunny. He can take care of himself. He's a strong, fearless, and totally together pet. But only because, uh, Tank's got a strict flying regiment and, and someone needs to make sure that he doesn't slack off while I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> you know, the two of us are very diligent. Okay, whatever. Yes, yes, more importantly, as for Opal, she likes to read every 36 and a half minutes. You groom her with her silken brush, head to toe. Oh, and don't forget to put your pillow out in the middle. That's where she likes it. And the temperature in the room should always be exactly 81.4 degrees. That's the only way she can get to sleep. And, um... Oh, good. So, thanks for your help, and good luck to you. Ahem. I think the dragon was expecting a little something for his efforts. Almost as beautiful as the pony who gave it to me. Shouldn't you be critter-proofing the library or something? Tank has a tendency to... <laughs> critter-proofing. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> three down, three to go. What's that you said, Gummy? Uh-huh. Well, you're just gonna have to ask Pinkie Pie about that one. Ask, ask me! Go ahead, ask her. Why didn't you say so? I'll put you a bigger pawn immediately. I think what Gummy's trying to say is... He's always wanted a pair of riding pants? His toenails need a new coat of shellac? He wants to pull off twice the dance and it just one. <laughs> I think what Gummy's trying to say is that he'd like a little spike time. Who wouldn't? Spike time is the best. Alas, it doesn't come cheap. All I'm saying is that you might want to think about a helmet. You only want to get hit in the head by a flying turtle once. A thousand plus carrots of pure deliciousness. Looks like you got a regular pet daycare in here, Spike. You'll still be able to get some good playtime with Winona, like you said, though, won't you? She tends to get a little wild if she doesn't get her exercise. Exercise, sure. Of course. I don't remember seeing critters on the invite list. That's because we're leaving them here with Spike. He's gonna do a little critter sitting for us. Oh, really? So sorry I'm late. Silly Bunny had hidden his brush. Be sure you get plenty on his tail or it won't get as poofy as he likes it. Come on, girls, or we're gonna miss the train. <laughs> One more for the road. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> Come no, on no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you more! Oh, I promise it'll be okay. I'll fluff your tail twice next week. Three times? Oh, I know. It's a chilly 81.2 in here. Spike, take care of this, would you please? You got it. So, uh, what are you thinking about that hooting little friend of yours? Suppose you want me to keep an eye on him, too. That would be nice. You sure you don't already have your hands full? Nah, oh, pshaw. I'll be fine. But, uh, just between you and me, I gotta give priority to the paying customers. 
You absolutely sure you can do this? Of course. Wouldn't have agreed to it if I couldn't. Piece of cake. Speaking of cake, I got a little something I need to attend to. Yeah, like keeping an eye on a house full of critters. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that was totally what I was talking about. Relax. Go to your welcoming thing in the Crystal Empire. Spike's got it all under control. There are six of you, but there's only one right here in front of me. Ah, two. And what I say goes. Spike, the boss of you. That's who. One, two, three. Uh, come on, number four. Ah! Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, who's missing? Angel. Oh, I wanted her some jewels. Big, juicy, delicious jewels. Now what do I have? Missing rabbit and... I'd rather not chase you around all over the place when I could be enjoying some jewel cake. Watch me solve both our problems. You know, I'm supposed to be watching them, but you all have just hit it off so well that maybe, maybe I could let you take care of him instead. We would, but we've got some major crusaders business planned for today. Major. We're getting our skydiving cutie marks today. Ha! Yeah. Well... I suppose if you've got other plans, it's just you're so good with them. Like, get a cutie mark for bunny sitting good. A bunny sitting cutie mark. That would be adorable. He does seem to like us. And we hadn't exactly figured out how we're going to pull off this whole skydiving thing. You know what? As hard as it's going to be for me to part with these little guys, I think you should probably just take all of them. You ask me. <clears throat> The more critters you take care of, the more chances you have of getting some kind of critter sitting cutie mark. Am I right? Or am I right? Sure. Yes. But wait, how are we gonna take good care of them without treats for when they're good? And we'll make beds for when they're tired. And toys, they need toys. It's an afternoon. They don't need all that stuff. They'll be fine. We need to be able to buy them some things. One well, jewel might be able to cover it all. Uh, what would I possibly be doing with jewels? I happen to know for a fact that Applejack gave you a gem to watch Winona. Which means... Obviously, no one around here is getting a cutie mark for kindness toward a poor, hungry little dragon. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. Gonna put in some flour and add a little sugar for my five delicious jewels. Pink feathers would look so good with your eyes. Nah, that bird could use a little color. Has anyone seen Tank's head? Where's his head? What have you done to the turtle? Oh, he totally forgot he could do that. <laughs> yeah, so pretty sure critter sitting cutie marks are out. And our critter grooming cutie marks probably aren't going to appear anytime soon either. <sighs> All right, load them up. And you can give me back that jewel I gave you. Sorry, we don't have it anymore. What? Why not? How do you think we paid for the industrial sized pet hair dryer? The 
Gora knows just what to do about all this bad mojo that's floating around you. I'm thinking a cage and a great big lock might be next. Zekora can take the bad away if you do just what I say. Really? But before I can do my duty, I'm going to need some of your booty. Where are you going? You think jewels are what you need, but there's no worse mojo than dragon greed. <laughs> Just between you and me, right? No other pony has to hear a word about it? Uh, a word about what now? This better be important. Angel. I can't have all of these animals on my train. Not without tickets and not without chaperones. All I need is to get on for one minute, grab a bunny, and get off. Promise. <laughs> Likely story. No chaperone, no train. <laughs> Skydiving cutie marks. <laughs> is three ponies enough? Hmm. At least I have you two left, my delectable little treasures. All aboard for the Crystal Empire! Crystal Empire? I've always wanted to see the Crystal Empire! I wish I were dressed for it, but still! We're not really going. We just needed to get on a train so I can get that rabbit. And when I do, we're off! What? It's not fair! <sighs> there he is! Next up, Crystal Empire! No, 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 no! So it seems like the Crystal Empire would be really cold, but I've heard that it's not. It's as warm as can be. Do you think the walls are crystal? <gasps> Maybe even see-through. Can you imagine see-through walls? <gasps> you can't, because we're not getting out of this car until we're back in Ponyville. There is no way, no hell, we're coming all the way to the Crystal Empire without looking around. No pony's gonna get past this dragon. Don't make me use this. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Coming with me. We made it! 
without seeing the palace. I think this car's empty. They're coming this way. Everybody down. There has to be a better solution. Shh. Oh, don't sit down. Don't sit down. Ooh-wee. My dogs are barking. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? They really are. Huh. Bummer Spike had to miss out on all this. He would have had fun here. I'm sure he's having a great time watching all the critters back at home. Think he's still got a handle on things? If he's staying calm and collected, I bet he's doing a terrific job as a leader. Go ahead, Bunny. Do your worst. I deserve it. I ignored you, tried to pawn you off on someone else. I didn't take these silly things out or fluff this like I was supposed to. I wasn't really thinking about you at all. Any of you. Just one of the jewels. I hope you'll all forgive me someday. You will? Oh, great. I'm gonna be the one who gives us away. Where did you... You all hear that? I can't wait to scratch the belly on Winona. Oh, I miss her. I can't wait to see Aloysius. <laughs> Hello! Thought we need you at the station! So we could hear all about the Crystal Empire and find out if you brought us one of the crystal snow globes that they sell at the train station. How did you know about the snow globes? Um... Lucky guess? I've got to hand it to you, Spike. You did a really good job of taking care of the animals. Oh, Spike, Angel looks perfect. You did such a good job fluffing his tail. Yeah, well, we're like this now. <laughs> You know who. So what are you thinking? Bake them into a jewel pie? Ooh, six-layer gem cake sounds pretty good. Yeah, it does. It really, really does. Clerk selling some quills. Morning, kid. My pony bill is so gentle and still. Can things ever go wrong? I don't think that they will. Morning and pony bill shimmers. Morning and pony bill shines. And I know for absolute certain that everything is certainly. Rainbow Dash, that's not funny. Terribly sorry, darling. I'm afraid I'm, I'm not good with the thundery ones. <gasps> Something tells me everything is not going to be fine. My little pony, my little pony. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness, it's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you're all my very best friends? What are you doing? What happened to your cutie mark? Whatever do you mean, Twilight? I'm simply doing what I've done since the day it first appeared my sky looks fabulous or what? Two last season? Where is Rainbow Dash? Why isn't she handling this? <sighs> I still don't know what you had to wake me up for. I love sleeping in the rain. 
It's not about the weather, Spike. Rarity had Rainbow Dash's cutie mark and said this was Rainbow Dash's cottage. Something strange is going on. Hey, guys. Rainbow Dash, why is Rarity doing your job? And what in Equestria is going on in... <laughs> These animals don't listen. No, not one little bit. They run around out of control and throw their hissy bits. It's up to me to stop them, cause plainly you can see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie mark is telling me. I try to keep them laughing, put a smile upon their face. But no matter what I try, it seems a bit of a disgrace. I have to entertain them, it's there for all to see. It's got to be my destiny. And it's what my cutie mark is telling me. I don't care much for picking fruit and plowing, feeling such a hoot. No matter what I try, I cannot fix this busted water shoot. I'm under some distress. Could y'all give me a hand here and help me fix this mess? My destiny is not pretty, but it's what my cutie Mark is telling me. I'm in love with weather patterns, but the others have concerns. For I just gave them frostbite over top of their sunburns. I have to keep on trying, for everyone can see. It's got to be. It's got to be my destiny. My destiny. And it's what my cutie mark. It's what my cutie mark. Yes, it's what my cutie mark is telling me. This is bad. This is very, very bad. What's going on? Why is this happening? Last night when you were taking one of your seven-hour bubble baths, I got a special delivery from the princess. Dear Twilight Sparkle, the spell contained on the last page of this book is Star Swirl the Bearded's secret unfinished masterpiece. Ooh! He was never able to get it right and thus abandon it. I believe you are the only pony who can understand and rewrite it, Princess Celestia. From one to another, another to one, a mark of one's destiny singled out alone fulfilled. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even rhyme. I cast the spell so I could find out what it was, but nothing seemed to happen. But now I know something did happen. The spell has changed the elements of harmony. That must be why their cutie marks are all wrong. So just cast a counter spell to switch them back. There is no counter spell. Why don't you just use that memory spell you used to fix every pony when Discord was here? It's not their memory, Spike. It's their true selves that have been altered. Is Zakora's cure for the cutie pox? That won't work either. Well, maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe our friends will go to like their new lives. No, Spike. They're not who they are meant to be anymore. Their destinies are now changed. And it's all my fault.
and Twilight, you'll figure out a way to fix this. These are your friends. You're right, Spike. And they mean more to me than anything. My friends. Twilight? Are you alright? I've got it! I know what to do! You do? I may not be able to remind them of who they are, but I can show them what they mean to each other. They'll find the part of themselves that's been lost so they can help the friend they care about so much! Come on, Spike! Fluttershy, wait! Oh, hey, Twilight. Where are you going? I'm moving back to Cloudsdale. I don't know what's wrong, but I can't seem to make any pony laugh. Before you go, I was wondering if you might be willing to help Rainbow Dash. She's really struggling with her animals. But I don't really know anything about animals. But you do know something about Rainbow Dash. I know that she's a true friend, and I'll do anything I can to help her. Help! Rainbow Dash! I'm in here! Can't you do some sort of spell to get her out? No. Fluttershy, you're the only one who can help. Rainbow Dash needs you! Um, hello? Little woodland creatures? I know that you're all very upset and feel like giving Rainbow Dash a hard time. But we'd all really appreciate it if you'd calm down and uh, maybe rest for a bit. Here's some nice, juicy leaves for you to munch on. And some crunchy, munchy acorns, too. Uh, wouldn't you like to take a break and have a little snack? Aw, oh, look at that. I guess you were all just cranky because you were hungry. Oh, you are very welcome, little friends. Goodness, like I can understand them. I I feel strange, like, like this is what I'm meant to do. Like this is who I am. My destiny. What? What happened? Fluttershy, look! Your cutie mark! It worked! It worked! Oh, I'm so happy you're back to normal. Now we need your help. A true, true friend helps a friend in need. A friend will be there to help them see. A true, true friend helps a friend in need to see the light that shines from a true, true friend. Um, hello, friend trapped inside, remember? you try, just give it a chance. You might find that you'll start to understand. A true, true friend helps a friend in need. A friend will be there to help you see. A true, true friend helps a friend in need to see the light that shines from a true, true friend. Uh, what just happened? There's no time to explain, but we need your help. Applejack's trying to make dresses. Say no more. Applejack needs your help. She's trying hard, doing what she can. Would you try? Just give it a chance. You might find that you'll start to understand. Pie's about to lose the apple farm. We need Applejack's help. Lose the apple farm? Well, we can't let that happen now, can we? Pinkie Pie is in trouble. We need to get there by her side. We can try to do what we can now. For together we can be her guide. A true, true friend has a friend.
are just the thing. The townspeople need you, they've been sad for a while. They march around, face a frown, and never seem to smile. And if you feel like helping, we'd appreciate a lot. If you get up there and spread some cheer from here to Canterlot. Come on, ponies, I want to see you smile. Marks of our destinies made one, there is magic without end. Congratulations, Twilight. I knew you could do it. Princess, I don't understand. What did I do? You did something today that's never been done before. Something even a great unicorn like Star Swirl the Bearded was not able to do. Because he did not understand friendship like you do. The lessons you've learned here in Ponyville have taught you well. You have proven that you're ready, Twilight. Ready? Ready for what? You've come such a long, long way And I've watched you from that very first day To see how you might grow To see what you might do To see what you've been through And all the ways you've made me proud It's time. Because she is a princess. Huh? Hold on a second! <laughs> a princess? Since you've come to Ponyville, you've displayed the charity, compassion, devotion, integrity, optimism, and of course, the leadership 
of a true princess. But does this mean I won't be your student anymore? Not in the same way as before. I'll still be here to help and guide you, but we're all your students now, too. You are an inspiration to us all, Twilight. But what do I do now? Is there a book about being a princess I should read? <laughs> there will be time for all of that later. We are gathered here today in celebration of a momentous occasion. My most faithful student, Twilight Sparkle, has done many extraordinary things since she's lived in Ponyville. She even helped reunite me with my sister, Princess Luna. But today, Twilight Sparkle did something extraordinary. She created new magic, proving without a doubt that she is ready to be crowned Equestria's newest princess. Fillies and gentle colts, may I present for the very first time, Princess Twilight Sparkle. The Princess Twilight's coming, behold, behold. Ago, my teacher and mentor, Princess Celestia, sent me to live in Ponyville. She sent me to study friendship, which is something I didn't really care much about. But now, on a day like today, I can honestly say I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for the friendships I've made with all of you. Each one of you taught me something about friendship, and for that, I will always be grateful. Today, I consider myself the luckiest pony in Equestria. Thank you, friends. Thank you, every pony. Twilight, I'm so proud of you. Are you crying? Of course not. It's, it's liquid pride. A totally different thing. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, princess! We love you, Twilight. I love you too, girls. Yeah. 